What is an oil pressure sensor? An oil pressure sensor is a device used to measure the oil pressure on an engine. So oil pressure sensor is actually a term that covers at least two different and distinct types of sensor. An oil pressure sensor switch and the oil pressure sender. Find out what an oil pressure switch is here and what an oil pressure sender is here. There are also uh, many devices that combine an oil pressure switch and oil pressure sender into a single unit, a combination oil pressure switch and oil pressure sender. So how an oil pressure sensor or switch work? The main job of an engine oil pressure sensor is to keep track of the oil pressure in the vehicle and then transmit this information straight to the combination meter or the instrument panel. If the vehicle has an electronic control module, which is almost all do, then the oil pressure switch will send this information to the module where it can be calculated. After it's calculated, the information gets sent to the combination meter and instrument panel so that the engine oil pressure warning light or the oil pressure gauge can be activated. How to test an oil pressure sensor? Testing an oil pressure sensor depends on its type and purpose. Testing is usually done using an electrical testing tool called a multimeter. As with all testing, it should be done by someone qualified to do so and competent to perform the test. In order to test, you need to know what you are testing. Find out how to test an oil pressure switch and how to test an oil pressure sender. So, the symptoms of a bad oil pressure switch or sensor. If there is a problem with oil pressure sensor, then this will usually activate the engine oil pressure light. It could also cause an inaccurate reading to be given from the oil pressure gauge. So, there are three most typical signs of a faulty oil pressure switch or sensor. First, repeated blinking from the oil pressure light. Sometimes, if the oil pressure sensor is not working properly, there will be a blinking from the low oil light on the dashboard. So this could uh, cause a driver to panic because they will believe that their oil levels are low, which will end up damaging the engine if it were true. So in order to determine if this is a real warning or not, you should manually check your oil level to see if it is low. If it isn't, then it's likely you have a fault oil pressure sensor and you need to replace it right away, but uh, you might be having a um, bad or fault oil pressure sensor uh, pump, uh, which it will give an error because of uh, the oil pressure is not um, determined. So, the second, wrong reading shows on the oil pressure gauge. If you are driving an older vehicle, then it likely has a mechanical gauge that calculates the oil pressure. Whenever the oil levels are normal, but the gauge is uh, showing zero, this means that the oil pressure sensor needs to be replaced because it is a faulty or there is some type of connection usually. If you are driving a modern vehicle, then your oil pressure gauge is probably electronic and transmits an electronic signal to get a reading. Whenever an oil pressure sensor is not working properly in a modern car, it will cause a gauge to have strange readings or it will sit on a full or zero. Check the wiring to the sensor and replace as needed. Don't assume your engine oil is low without physically checking the dipstick. Otherwise, you may end up with too much oil in your engine, which can mean a completely different set of usages in include oil pressure that's too high. Third, oil pressure light turns on. The best way to test if your sensor is bad is through the lights on the oil pressure couch. If the low oil pressure warning light comes on when the engine's oil levels are normal and your engine is running smoothly and quietly, then you will likely have a bad oil pressure sensor. And if this sensor is defective, it will give you a false readings. If your oil levels are normal, but you hear grinding, ticking, uh, or other noises from your engine, you have an 
you have an actual problem with oil pressure such as faulty oil pump and the sensor is simply doing its job. So eventually these readings will go away beyond the normal specifications which will cause the warning light to turn on. At this point you should replace your sensor in order to stay properly informed of your oil pressure level.